heard that Taraji was upset because she'd been asked to do a rental car. I personally called Toby Emmerich, who was at the time the head of Warner Brothers, and say, and he said, well, that means we have to do cars for everybody. Then I said, then we do cars for everybody. Yeah. And if it's necessary, I will pay for the cars myself. He goes, well, we don't want you to do that. Yes. So, you know, from that was one thing. Trailers were another thing. Food was another thing. And everything got handled. And everything, yeah. everything got handled. I just so well, I don't even know. know why, I don't even know. No. Between. You know what? It's so disturbing to me. Why is my name even in this conversation? Because you're Oprah Winfrey. Can I say something? Why, yeah, before, why is my name in this conversation? Because I have just been the champion for everybody. everybody. Yeah. I wanna Yo, Lil Suey back in here for another edition after your mother. In that first video y'all just got done seeing was Oprah Winfrey saying that she stuck her neck out. She said she was going to get a vehicle for Taraj B. Henson. She got the food. She got everything fixed, right? There was complaints and gripes, but she made good, right? She had to go to the, the executives at the production studios let them know yo we need cars we need food we need everything we need these people to be comfortable because we are doing a professional show allegedly that's what she said to which even gail king called her out now, that was weird because gail king is supposed to be i don't know if it's oprah's lover or her best friend or both but she was like yo because you oprah <laughs> like, bitch you got the power um me i was actually I, I was actually indifferent about the whole thing. I think Taraj B. Henson is not a Meryl Streep actress. And I like Taraj B. Henson. I really do. But name one thing that she's done has been on the same level as a Mel, Meryl Streep or Gwyneth Paltrow. You can't do it. I mean, to, quickly to the mind, the only thing that comes to, to mind for me is Baby Boy and the curious case of Benjamin Button or... What a woman wants. I think it would. What a man wants, or what a, she could read minds and shit like that. It was like the remake of the Mel Gibson movie. Yeah, that's the only thing I, I like. And Cookie from Power. What are we talking about here? Maybe Hustle and Flow, but that's not. That's being award winning shit. That was hood rat nigga shit. So yeah, but Oprah actually she came. She was like, hey, I, she came to her own damn defense. I ain't about you to let you hoes make me look bad. Fuck wrong with you. You know what I'm saying? And I was bad mouthing Oprah a few years ago. I didn't know at 69 years old, she, <laughs> Oprah would get that work. I take it back. I take back like most of that shit that I said. I would eat Oprah ass from the back. That purple dress. I don't know how good it's holding up, but if it looked that tight outside the dress, it probably looked that good underneath. I don't know. She probably got body surgery from the neck down. <laughs> but then we got um. Vivica A. Fox mother right here. Now she says, I'll let y'all watch it. I feel like um, now is the perfect time to have the conversation that Taraji kind of continued over Monique. You know, you're an actress, you've been out there. Is this the perfect time to kind of talk about that in the right platform? You know, darling, to each his own. Do you know what I mean? I'm very happy, very blessed. And uh, to each his own. I didn't have that experience, so, you know, but to. Uh, Get your peace out is important. I totally understand that. And uh, I love my girls for looking out for each other. But uh, I'm good. So you got to see Vivica A. Fox say that she's never had those problems. I don't know why she would, though. She's only did a few videos or movies that come to mind. One being Set It Off. Two being Booty Call. And three, two can play at that game with Gabrielle Union. Like, what the fuck are we talking about here? You ain't, you ain't even got a whole discography. If you do it straight to video or straight to streaming platforms. So, of course, you wouldn't have that problem. You showed up on set. They paid you your $25,000. You got your check. Got the hell on. <laughs> they didn't ask for you to be in the color purple, nor would they. I mean, considering you got all that face makeup or face surgery, you wouldn't be in the color purple or any other lesbianic movie. Because you look like a plastic blow-up doll. Even at 60 years old, she looks crazy as cat shit. But she spoke her piece. She was real PC with it. I don't know if y'all peeped that, but she was like, yo, y'all not dragging me into this. Y'all not getting sound bites of me shitting on nobody. Hey, to each his own. I got paid. Which, I think she capping on that. I think the most she made off of paid in, uh, I think the most she made off of set it off was probably 25 G's. We can stop pretending like these whole was making bank it was the mid 90s so we know you ain't getting no scrap scrilla for that in any event 
y'all like this episode you know what to do subscribe turn the notifications on like comment and share and tell your punk ass friends and i'm out no.